Hi everyone, my name is Karis Brandon and I am a fashion and styling blogger based in South Wales. If you already follow me on Instagram and you've jumped over here, thank you so much for coming over. This is my very first YouTube video, so please like and subscribe below um, so that I can keep creating some more content for you guys. But this is actually my first one ever. So I've been on about creating a YouTube channel for what feels like forever now, and I've just never really got around to doing it. I think in between my different jobs and creating Instagram content and stuff like that, I just haven't found the time. But I think recently I just thought, right, Karis, you need to set aside the time and then get on with doing it because loads of people have been asking if I'm going to do it and I just thought, yeah, why not? I fancy getting out here and starting a YouTube channel and yeah, just see how it goes. So I hope you guys really enjoy what I'm going to share. It'll just be lots of fashion, styling tips, um, like lots of different outfits you can wear to different occasions and that sort of thing. Okay, so one of my most asked for videos, I think recently, has to be um, different outfits you can wear to like a wedding or like occasion wear, that sort of thing. Like I think now that restrictions are loosening up a little bit and weddings are going ahead, I myself am getting married this year, fingers crossed in October. But yeah, I just thought that um, would be the best time to just pull together some of my favorite looks about at the moment that you could wear as a guest to um, a wedding. Okay, so I would say as a bride, my only rule for guests would be just no full long white dresses. If you want to wear white, white patterns or white with black or white with something else, I'm not that fussy, just no long to the floor bridal white dresses, that is it. Um, so I have pulled together some really lovely looks here which are just nice and summery and nice and colourful. Usually I'm very like neutral with my styling but I feel like a wedding is just a place where you can start to add a bit of colour, especially now it's summer and I've done it in nice like muted ways here now. So I will show you the first piece. Okay, so this first look that I picked was from um, Never Fully Dressed. Now, I love Never Fully Dressed. They've got the most gorgeous dresses and they always have really lovely prints. Um, and this, um, I picked this top. It's like, can you see? It's got a wrap front and you can style it in like different ways. I'll do like a little cutaway here so you can see me um, styling it. But I just love the fabric of this. It's a nice um, sort of like toned down leopard print because... I mean, I do love leopard print, but is leopard print suitable for wedding? I don't know. I mean, I would wear it for a wedding, but I feel like this is a really, really lovely way to wear it for a wedding. Um, with the wraps with um, Never Fully Dressed, they do them so long, so there's loads of different ways that you can style them. So, like, if you're, like, bigger busted, they recommend that, I think, you pull the fabric. I think it's you pull the tie towards, like, the front first and then round to the back so that you've got more fabric at the front and then if you're smaller busted they say to pull the wrap like behind you first and then wrap it forward so that like you're pulling the fabric away from like your smaller sort of chest area um but yeah I'm styling it here anyway for you to see um and then they've popped it here well not they've popped it I chose the matching trousers they're like a wide leg trouser um they're not too wide i would say they're just like a relaxed wide leg and these are lovely with them i would wear them with like some nice cream heels and then like a nice cream bag and this is just such a lush look for like a summer wedding so i feel like sometimes like i'm not always a dress kind of person and i really love cohorts and i think at the moment cohorts are everywhere and they've got such lovely ones about and never fully dressed have done this so well the color is like um i would say it's like a baby blue slash gray blue sort of color and then it's got like the cream leopard print in it and it's just such a nice wash of color um and it's not too much so yeah that is my first look for the wedding season. Okay, and then I picked this little puff sleeve dress. Now I'm loving puff sleeves at the moment. And I just fell in love with this dress when I saw it. It's got, now I know what you're thinking, it's cream, but cream, I, I'm a bride, right? So I'm just gonna give you my advice. I don't mind people wearing cream 
or printed white or that sort of thing. I'm not that strict. Like I know some brides are really funny about any white, aren't they? But which I mean, each to their own. It is your personal opinion. But for me, I don't mind a bit of light cream, that sort of thing. So this is from ASOS. I think I had this from. Yeah, this is ASOS Design, and I literally. What I love about ASOS design is they really, like, they are elevated designs. Like, I know it's called ASOS design for a reason, but they really are. They have some gorgeous, like, occasion wear pieces. And this dress, I just loved the little, like, shearing detail here and then the puff sleeves. And as you can see, it had the cutest back. So it's got this little black bit at the back, which... I thought would be perfect because it's a way to like ground it and make it less like whitey cream for a wedding. So I would pop this, as you can see here, I've just got it with some black heels and a little black bag. And it's just a perfect little look for that. It's a lovely um, like skater, can you see? It's like a skater skirt finish. And I mean, I am five foot nine um, and this is, I would say a good length on me. Um, maybe for a little bit shorter, it might be a bit too long for the sort of look it is. But I think because this sort of sheer and detail, you can kind of ruffle it up a bit more and you can maybe add a bit more volume here. Um, but yeah, this is just such a really lovely piece. I actually think this is my favourite, maybe not my favourite, but maybe my top three of this rack. It's just gorgeous. It is all lined as well, which is perfect because there's nothing worse than a see-through cream dress. I've also got to warn you, if you can hear any snorting in the background, it's my little Frenchie, Dougie. He is usually in the back of all my Instagram videos and he's sitting there watching me right now. Maybe you pop in at the end. Okay, and then I picked this lovely, like, okay, there's actually leopard print again. I think I've got a bit of a thing for leopard print. Like, let's just accept it. I've got a thing for leopard print and animal print. But this is just such a gorgeous way, again, to do it for a wedding. So this is like a, um, I would say like mid-length dress. And it's got like the little gathered um, waistline here. And it like comes under your bust there. It's just a really, I found it's a super flattering fit on me. Like with, I've got like smaller boobs basically. Um, but I guess this sort of dress would still look lush if you've got like a bigger bust because of the finish let me move the tag just because of the finish it's got here and it's got like a gorgeous amount of fabric the sleeves are lush they're like look you can see like the little ruffle detail i've got a little cutaway here of me trying it on anyway and i've just popped it with some um white heels and a little white bag my white bag is from i think that was from river island i'll link everything below anyway for you um but yeah this is just a really really lovely look it's got, um, again, like you can see, it's got like underlining to it. So again, it's not see-through because like I said, that's my pet hate. It's when you find a really lovely dress and then it's all see-through. Um, but this is gorgeous and it's just such a nice print. It's like a creamy and orangey colour. And I just think this is just perfect now for the summer months. And what I loved about this dress is that I would also wear it like dressed down. Like I know it's a nice dressy dress for a wedding, but I just thought like, there's lots of like wearability in this dress. So like, um, I would also wear this with white trainers and a little tan bag. If I was going out for like a coffee date or that sort of thing, or you could wear it with maybe like tan sandals or those like straw sort of sandals and a straw bag for like more of, um, I don't know, like a holiday beachy sort of look. So there's lots of ways that you could wear this dress. And I think that is why this is also in my top three. I think actually this might be my fave one because I just love the print I love the fit and again I like the fact that when I bought something for a wedding like I could wear it elsewhere because I don't like buying things I'm literally just gonna wear once like some things I find um for weddings if they're like very very dressy I'm like right where am I gonna wear that again but this is like dressy enough that I can wear it to a wedding and then it's also like styled enough that I could dress it down and wear it elsewhere so yeah this one is my favourite one and this is the uh, Brever new brand on ASOS and again I will link it all below for you anyway. So then the next um, little outfit that I picked was this gorgeous dress from River Island. Um, it's a little bit 
creased at the moment i need to give it a steam i'll give it a steam before i do a little cutaway for you um but can you can see it's got shoulder pads in it which just gives it a lovely finish across the shoulders um i've popped it here i've styled it with some white um heels and just a white bag again again the white bag is river island and i believe the white heels are asos but i will double check and like i said link them below but this is a long sleeve and it's kind of like that um you know that sort of like puff sleeve finish um and it's got a lovely little flute at the bottom which i just thought was gorgeous and it's just really nice it's a nice actual length because I don't like things to be too short and that's what I often struggle with being five foot nine is dresses are often like really really short and I just feel like I don't know I'm not comfortable myself wearing like really really short pieces just because I feel like oh my god oh see see it my skirt you can see that you, you feel like you're watching aren't you like the way you're walking and stuff but um no this is a great length for that um and yeah this nice little high neck finish on it and it's just a really gorgeous color and it's just like something that would be super easy like you could wear on a night out after it um because like i said i don't like to pick things that are just for one occasion so you could wear this out like i don't know for drinks with the girls after it or for like a date night that sort of thing and it's just a really gorgeous like summer dress um for like weddings and occasion wear so yeah another gorgeous piece and like i said this one is river island and i went for a size 10 in that okay and then on to the next one i'm actually getting out of breath now and i'm realizing how bloody unfit i am i i like to say i'm unfit since covid like since lockdown we haven't been able to do anything but that would just be a lie i'm generally unfit because i do not exercise and it's a bit shameful considering that my fiance is a pt so need to get my arse in gear don't I but anyway next up is this um jumpsuit jump it's actually really annoying that it doesn't come with like one of those hook things like I can't actually hang it up properly um so hang on let me just try it the front and then I'll show you again okay so this is actually really really irritating me now that it hasn't got one of these string things so I'm just gonna have to hold it like this to show you but yeah I got this gorgeous little coral I would say it's like a corally pink sort of satin jumpsuit it's not full satin shine it's almost like um a demi matte sort of satin um and it's like a one shoulder puff sleeve design gorgeous little puff sleeve um I, at first I thought there was like um a shoulder pad in it but it's not like a shoulder pad it's just that there's a lot of like volume around the shoulder there and it's just it's gorgeous on i'll do a little cutaway here i've styled it with some nice um heels some nice cream heels and a nice cream bag as well it's got a nice tight belt to it and then it's obviously long legs as you can see in the cutaway but i just thought this was a really really nice um wedding like it's not typical wedding i wouldn't say typical wedding but a nice like I hate the word traditional like I, I don't do traditional anything I don't like the word traditional but it's like a very like occasion wear wedding -y sort of look isn't it so I'll, this one I do love it but I feel like personally I probably wouldn't get this just because I know I wouldn't wear that like anywhere else really I mean you could wear it out for drinks with the girls obviously it's I mean it's very glam for drinks with the girls but I'm a glam kind of girl so why not um like but you know you couldn't wear this elsewhere like with flats that sort of thing it is a very um occasion wear piece then which i guess if you go into like i don't know a nice glam wedding and like a nice outdoor wedding you feel like treating yourself then why not because it is really is the perfect piece um this is from asos and i it's again like let me have a look the asos design and i went for a size 10 usually i'm like a size 8 in jumpsuits and like dresses tops that sort of thing but i always go for a size 10 just because of my height and i find being five foot nine if when i go for a 10 it just allows like that more fabric in between and it just makes sure that like when i sit down i can be nice and comfortable and that it's just you know not riding up in the wrong places shall we say but yeah this is a gorgeous outfit as well i mean i know i said i wouldn't get this but i probably I'm lying, I probably would get it to be honest and just wear it to wed and then just hope someone else gets married as well because it is gorgeous. But anyway, I will link this below for you. You could style this like with some nice gold jewellery. I also think this would be really, really like elegant looking with your hair up and then like that bare shoulder as well. That would be really nice. 
Um, but yeah, so I'll link that below for you and I'll show you the next one. My last little dress that I picked is this lovely, like, I feel like it's quite like folksy, like ditzy sort of dress. It's a black mini dress um, and it's got these gorgeous little frill details. And I just really like this for, I can't say casual option because it's not a casual option, is it? But like not a true wedding -y look, but something that is still suitable for a wedding. Now, I know lots of people think like, oh, you can't wear black to a wedding, blah, blah. But I think you can wear black to a wedding. Anyone is welcome to wear black to my wedding because it is a black tie sort of theme anyway. But um, but yeah, this would be gorgeous, I think, for like, especially like outdoor weddings where you've got like a little ceremony outdoors and then you've got like a little garden party, that sort of thing. It is really, really cute. And I've just styled it here in the cutaway with um, some white teals and a little white bag. And what I liked about this, again, is that it could be worn elsewhere. So like you could wear this, I don't know, with some nice chunky white trainers for a little picnic date with like a nice big straw tote, or you could wear it with like some black sandals and a little black cross body for like an evening holiday, but like still dressed up, dressed down look. So there's loads of different ways you could wear this as well, which obviously you know I like. I love to get wearability out of things. And yeah, I just really loved like all the florally details on this. It isn't my usual style actually, to be honest with you, but I really, really like this. And I would say this is the third of my top three. So maybe my top three are this, what else did I say? Oh yeah, this one, the puff sleeve, and then this uh, leopard print orangey one. Those three are my favourite, just because I feel like, okay, you can't really wear this elsewhere other than a wedding or like an evening out, but I like this and the leopard print because it could be worn in two different ways. Well, at least two different ways, really, can't it? So yeah, that is my final look. And this one again is ASOS Design. I went for an eight in this because I could see that it was like fitted around the torso and I wanted to make sure that it was nice and fitted and that it wasn't like bagging anywhere. So yeah, I will link that below for you. I don't remember the prices of anything, sorry. So I will link them all below and pop the prices there as well. Okay, so I hope you really enjoyed that and that you got lots of inspiration for your weddings and your garden parties, occasion wear, that sort of thing. Um, and yeah, I just thank you all for actually coming and watching my first YouTube video. Luckily, we haven't had too much Dougie snorting. I will go and grab him now, actually, though, and I'll show you him. This is little Dougie to introduce to you all, my little boy. Mwah. He's usually in the back of all my videos, follows me everywhere and just tends to watch everything I'm doing. So I just thought I would show him to you all. But yeah, I'll let him go back to bed now. Okay, so thank you all for watching my very first YouTube channel. Um, and thank you to those of you if you've come over from my Instagram. I really appreciate the support. And for anyone else, if you really enjoyed this video, please subscribe and like below. And I will be creating more content very soon, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I'll pop all the links um, for everything below today as well. And thank you everyone for coming and joining me, basically. You can head over to my Instagram at Caris Louise Brandon, where I share more fashion and styling tips sort of daily on there. And yeah, I will just catch you guys next time for some more fashion and styling tips.